Another film that I recently watched was Deadfall, a 1968 mystery thriller starring Michael Caine and directed and written for the screen by Brian Forbes. It's the story of an Ameri- of a British thief, played by Caine, named Harry, who's currently resident in a Spanish clinic for alcoholics. He's befriended a local, a, uh, another wealthy patient, but is visited by an attractive young woman who has a proposition for him. Um, after Harry leaves the institute, he visits the uh, woman's husband, who explains that he is a uh, very successful former thief, but he's not as uh, uh, skilled as he used to be. He's rather old, so they need a younger partner. And their plan is to rob the same uh, guest in the clinic that Harry is scoping out. But before that, they plan on a practice heist, which doesn't go quite according to plan. And Harry also gets involved in the strange relationship between the husband and wife. It's a very 1968 film. Um, Kane is uh, just having completed the Harry Palmer films. His next project will be the Italian job. Um, But it's a very serious picture. And the tone of it is very Sunday supplement, very... um, inflected by French New Wave. There's an awful lot that's said, or unsaid, rather, um, regarding what goes on. There's flashbacks and flash-forwards. It all feels very um, much like Brian Forbes is trying desperately to find a new vocabulary for himself, simply by copying others. Um, It has a, a very Michelangelo Antonioni feel to it, something like Blow Up or, or, or later on The Passenger. Um, but it's trying to impose that on what would otherwise be a fairly conventional crime drama. And as a result, it doesn't really work. Um, we never get a sense too much of the characters. Uh, Kane's character of uh, Harry Stewart is very thinly sketched. Um, and we get an awful lot of backstory for um, Eric Portman's older husband figure. Um, that uh, he had been a Nazi collaborator, that he's gay. And in fact, the fact that he's gay comes up a great deal. This is only a year after it was um, partially decriminalised in the UK um, because it means that he and his wife have really only a transactional rather than physical or romantic relationship. And this then feeds into further revelations towards the end of the movie. Um, There are moments that didn't really ring true. There's a moment where Kane jumps off a roof and grabs onto a, um, a windowsill and he clearly falls about at least 20 feet but grabs on with his arms outstretched and uh, if a normal person were to do that their arms would come straight out of their sockets. Um, it's not a particularly good film. It's something that I think is quite obscure. I'd never heard of it before and Forbes isn't really regarded as any kind of great filmmaker. It is, I would say, at best, a curiosity, but in general it's something that you probably never need to know about.